<clears throat> Every grass blade in Taiga is alive. That's because hidden inside it is the spirit of the Taiga. Hidden? How is that? Just like that. <laughs> the spirit of the Taiga is everywhere. In the grass and trees, on mountaintops, and even the deepest caves. The mysterious cave. Okay, here. No, they'll find me here. And here's where they found me the last time. And this was the one before that. Oh! Uh, but here. No way they'll find me here. Leo, look at this. Hmm. Tig, follow me. Oh, dear. Dear. Oh, dear. So, where's Mila? <laughs> Tig, have you seen her? Ah, oh, Mila, when will you learn to hide properly? The same place for the third time? Mila. Come on, don't be upset. I know. Let's play tag. No, no, no. One more time, please. The last one. Mila, this was the last time. The last, last time, then. The very last time. I swear. Six, seven, oh, eight, where should I go? nine, where ten, should I go? eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, ready or not, here I come! Aha! Uh -huh. Tig, I found you! Oh, hey, that's not fair. You counted too fast. No, 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 no! Here! There! There! No, 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 no! There! What should I do? They'll find me here, too. Oh. oh, a cave. I'm gonna hide so well, they'll never find me. Oh! What darkness. Oh, boy! Oh, oh. Isn't this a good spot to hide? She would hide. It's weird. She's not here either. Leo! Look, I found some tracks. Wow, it's Mila's tracks. Follow me! Whoa. Uh-uh. I wouldn't go inside. Leo, wait! She's definitely not in there. Tig? Wait a sec. Look! It's Mila's flower! She's in there. Let's go, Tig! You sure? No way! Leo! Oh, come on! No, no! Oh, fine, you win, Leo! I'm coming! Ah! Oh, wow. Leo! Leo, you there? I'm here, Tig. You okay? Well, I didn't lose my tail. <laughs> Leo, where are we? We're in a cave, and Milo is definitely here! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so amazing! Oh, wow! Hurrah. Look, Tig! Whoa. You're on tracks! Awesome! Tig, <laughs> hurry up! Whoa! Whoa! Ah, Leo! Wait for me! Don't leave me alone! Ah, <sighs> Mila, Mila! 
Can we take a break? No, Tig. The tracks, they disappeared. I'm tired. Help! You hear that? Leo! Tig! That's Mila! She's over there! Oh, okay, fine. Right behind you. lost. Oh, okay. Don't panic. You can figure this out. Okay. Uh, think, think. Uh, this way. Uh, Mila, don't be afraid. I can do this. Don't worry. I'll think of something. I'm not afraid. Well, at first I was a little scared. But then I asked, and he helped me. And here you guys are. Wait, who helped you, Mila? Well, I don't really know. I just thought that I was trapped, oh, well, but these pretty thing. crystals started to show me the way! Crystals? Mila, I think I got it! It's the spirit of the tiger! Remember Pantiga told us about him? He lives inside grass and trees, on mountain summits, and even in the deepest of caves and stuff! I know how to get out of here! We'll get help from the spirit of the tiger! The spirit of the tiger is the soul of nature. He's everywhere! Every grass blade and every rock is full of life. The spirit of the taiga cannot be seen, but he can be felt. He's always at your side, and he will help you, as long as you believe in him. The spirit of the taiga? Seriously? That's just a legend. Fairy tales made for children. That's it! There's no spirit. You're so gullible. Guess we're just gonna have to stay here forever. Tig, wait. Oh, spirit of the taiga. Would you please help us to find a way home? Oh. Oh. Thank you, spirit of the tiger! Now, guys, follow me! Leo, wait for us! <laughs> Leo, come on. Are you really gonna follow some bug? Like he can guide us outside. Leo. Tig, we'll end up staying here forever because of you. Why me? What did I do? Can't you ask the spirit of yours to guide us out of here a little bit faster? I'm getting hungry. Ask him yourself. Fine, I will. Nothing tricky about that. Listen, spirit, would you mind hurrying it up a little bit? <laughs> See that? See that. Wow, Tig. Okay. Great job. Couldn't you be more polite? Uh, right. Pretty, please? Oh, Leo, what are those things? Those are... Those are bats! Hey, wait! Hooray! We made it! <sighs> well, Tig, how about that? Exactly what you asked for! Really fast! Right. In the end, he's really nice, that spirit of the taiga. <laughs> and you didn't believe in him! <laughs> Not true. I believed him. I was joking. 
Let's go home. Hurry up! You're unbelievable. The spirit of the tiger is everywhere. But only those who genuinely believe in miracles are really able to see him. <laughs> Over there, hiding behind a bush. <laughs> the tiger, kids, is like nature's own pantry. And what is the richest, most filling time to be in the forest? What time? Lunch time? No. <laughs> The most generous time is the autumn season. Oh, it's raining. Let's get out of here. Autumn in Taiga. I hate autumn. Leo, move over. Snap! Where? Over there, under that tree! Right! So huge and angry! It almost bit off my tail. Tig, are you sure you saw it? Of course I'm sure. I almost lost my tail! <laughs> you chickens. You got scared of an empty snakeskin. Come over here. Do not be afraid. No, kids, no. The snake sheds its old skin and crawls out of it wearing a new one. <laughs> That's a neat trick. I wish I could do that. Whenever your coat gets dirty, all you gotta do is take it off and carry on. <laughs> Mapa Pandiga, how did the snake learn to shed its old skin? Mmm, that's a very interesting story. Ugh. Have a seat and listen. Once upon a time, there lived a great snake, the king of all snakes. But he grew very old and couldn't see well or even crawl anymore. So, the great snake ordered his subjects to find a cure for old age. The snakes shot off in all directions. They searched every deep crevice and every underground cave, but found nothing. The last one to come back was the whip snake, carrying a secret root. The great snake ate the root and crawled out of his old skin. Once again, he was young, strong, and healthy. The great snake was very happy. After that, he made it so that a shiny trail is left wherever the whip snake crawled. Mapa Pandiga, what was the name of that magical root? Oh, that root was ginseng. Ha <laughs> ha! The sun! Finally! <laughs> Mapa Pandiga, let's go to... To eat some grapes. Oh, oh I'm a little under the weather. Oh, and my back hurts. Mapa Pandiga, what's wrong with you? <gasps> Poor Mapa Pandiga. It looks like he came down with something. We have to help him. Totally. But how? Oh. I know how. We are going to find that magical root. Remember? It can cure everything. Yeah. Right, Leo. Let's go find that. Uh, Singji. Uh, but where do we find it? Oh, is this it? No, Teague. This is a Manchurian walnut. Haven't you listened to anything Mappa told us? We have been looking for this root for an hour. Maybe the thing doesn't exist. I think I found it. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, wow. It's like in a fairy tale. These marks are left by the whip snake. We could track him down. Right, and then ask him to help find the magical root. To cure our mapa. This must be 
the whip snake's lair. I don't think that whip snake is home right now. So let's just get out of here. No, we came here to get ginseng for our mappa, and we need to find it. Leo, what if there's no ginseng here either? Don't say that. Of course there is, and we'll find it. Well then, I'm just gonna wait for you guys here. I don't like swamps. I mean, I'm allergic. Huh. Who's a leech here? Which one of you is the most delicious? No, no, we don't taste good at all. Yeah, I'm bitter and sour. Silly kids. Why would you march into the swamp? We're really <sighs> sorry. We just needed the magical root. It's for a good cause, to help someone. <coughs> Our Mappa Pandiga, he got really sick. Can cure any disease. You know Mappa Pandiga? Right, I remember him as he was still a bear cub. Well, hop on. I'll give you a ride. Take it, and say hello from me to Mappa. We sure will, Mr. Whipsnake. Thank you, Mr. Wise Whipsnake, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Snake. See you later. See you. <sighs> even have to climb this mountain when we could be at home right now playing games. And look, look at the sky. I think it's gonna rain. I really hate autumn. Okay, we've arrived. Look at how majestic oh, our so tiger is in autumn. Woohoo! The view is <laughs> beautiful! 
adorable. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you know what I always say, right? Autumn is my favorite time of the year. <laughs> Tiger can not only give you food, but also medicine. Far away, in the infinitely vast expanses of the sky, high above the tallest mountains and the prettiest clouds, way up high is where the Red Deer lives. Sometimes he ventures down to the ground. The patter of his hooves makes the sound of thunder, while the gleaming of his silver antlers makes the lightning. Being always hungry, he tramples down everything in his path, devouring entire trees as if they were grass blades. Nobody is safe from him. So if you see the red deer, run. <laughs> so there, that is how the story goes, kids. The Red Deer. You see? We're building a house dam, obviously. Stay out of our way. And two, three! Whoa, look at that! It's a bridge! I've never been on the other side of the river before. <laughs> More reason, then, to check it out. Do you mind if we cross here, Mr. Beaver? Sure, go ahead. Just be careful. No, we can't do that. My mom says... No, she doesn't. You're just afraid. Stop making excuses. Tig, come on. Afraid? Me? I'm not afraid of anything. Hey, don't just stand there. Get back to work. Ugh. Oh, wow. Look at that giant tree. I've never seen anything so huge. Ah, oh, the great cedar, the father of the forest. Looks like a regular old tree. Let's go. <gasps> what if it doesn't want us to go any farther? <laughs> yeah, right. You make it sound as if the tree is magical or something. You don't know. What if it is magical? <laughs> Bunch of chickens. Me? Let's go. <laughs> Told you. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing at all. Mm-hmm. 
sure. <laughs> it was just a bunch of birds. Hey, what's wrong? That's what the magical tree tried to warn us about. He tramples down everything in his path, devouring entire trees. So if you see the red deer... My son is missing. Marty, my poor baby. Missing? Just wait. I'll find him. We're coming with you. No. Tig, take everyone to the river. I won't be long. All right, come on. You heard Leo. We're going to the river. Follow me. You don't need to worry. We're on it. We'll find your baby. Marty! where you are. <laughs> Marty! You hear me? Marty! Huh? Oh. <laughs> we need to leave! <laughs> Long. I hope they didn't get lost. No. Oh, look! Look! Over there! There's someone running! <laughs> Marty! Oh, that's my Marty! Mommy! I'm here! trees are gonna burn down come on come on come on and two and three yeah and again the red deer it's too close oh, we're not gonna make it jump on the log quick marty uh -oh. leo do we really have to go in the water Tig, again really <laughs> It's just that it's a little too wet. Tig, paddle on! Uh, I'm I'm in in shit. Shit. Hey! 
Tig, I guess we pulled it off. We did, huh? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! We stopped the red deer! Tigs, are you all right? I was looking for you everywhere. The red deer is not to be trifled with. Mappa Pandiga, we are fine. You should have seen us take down the red deer. And we saved the forest. Meow. <laughs> hey, look. Now there's four leopards among us. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm a leopard. Okay, five. Like that. <laughs> hi, everyone. Glad to oh, see hi, you. Oh, hi, Mila. We're off to get more branches. You stay here and keep watch. Uh-huh. Uh, I got it. We've been gathering these branches all day long. If we keep going, the trees will be bare. I'm guarding the fortress. I'm guarding the fortress. I'm gu... Who am I guarding it from? <laughs> all right. The spotty and the stripey went away. Hey, get on over here now, Shorty. <laughs> this is our meadow now, with all its raspberries. What do you mean it's yours? The meadow is public, and the fortress is ours. <laughs> it used to be, but not anymore. <laughs> Martins, attack! Get her! No! <laughs> I'm not afraid of you! <laughs> oh, dear me! <laughs> Shoot down that, uh, butterfly! Hey! Bush Leaguers! Oh, you're all alone now. <laughs> Go! <laughs> She's not alone. Ah, the spotted one. This is our fortress. It used to be. It's not anymore. So I've been carrying these branches for nothing? Martins, attack! <laughs> ah, oh. ah, 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 ah. Ah! Martins, fall back! <laughs> this is not over yet! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! All right. And That's don't come pizza. back! You hear that? I hope you learned your lesson! And don't try to scare <laughs> me again! I can't believe this. We got beaten by the spotty and the stripey. Shame on our heads. <gasps> Look here. This 
This is Beals's lair. Well, well, I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Mmm, raspberry. Nice, sweet raspberry. Lots of it. Lots of it. And then Mila screams, attack them! <laughs> Did you see me? I grabbed one of them. Boom, and that was it. The fight was over, and I'm like, don't you come back. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome! <laughs> Much? That'll teach you not to get in our way. It's our meadow now, with raspberries and everything. So, hey, guys, does it mean that our meadow and our fortress, all of that is gone? Calm down, Mila. <laughs> we'll get it all back. Yeah, sure we will. Wait, Leo, did you see it? <laughs> We're not strong enough. We can't beat Beals. I think I know someone who can help us. Uh, dear Mr. Beals, uh, we, we had a deal that half of the raspberries would be ours. Okay, okay. We get it. We totally get it. We do. We totally do. We're leaving already. Run! <laughs> 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 oh, no, kids. <laughs> I'm a bit too old to fight the brown bear. You were our only chance to beat him. Leo, let's give up and go to the river. Wait a minute. Mappa Pandiga, so there's no animal in the forest stronger than the brown bear? <laughs> Once upon a time, brown bears had no reason to doubt that. There was no animal stronger than them. So the brown bear grew vain and started to abuse his power, doing bad things. But for every power, there's an even stronger power. The spirit of the tiger always has his children's back. What do we do now? Search for the spirit of Tyga again so he chases Beals away? No. We'll get him ourselves. Okay. Mila, I need you to distract Beals. And Cuba, sneak up on his right side. <laughs> you, Tig. Look at who decided to visit us. Shush! That glutton kicked us out. He promised to share the raspberries with us. <laughs> Let me guess he didn't. Sure enough! Okay. Right now, we need to join forces and chase him away. Well, are you with us? For sure. We're with you. But we go 50-50 on the raspberries. <laughs> Right, we found it first. <laughs> oh! Who do you think you are destroying our fortress? Go away right now! Oh, I get it. You want to show me something? You're home. Why don't you go back inside? Oh, I see. There's something blocking it.
Taiga? Yes. He came here to help us. <laughs> but how did he know? That's right. Run away. Go on, run faster. The spirit of Taiga's gonna get you. <laughs> Bye, bees. Thank you for helping. You go defeat another enemy. For his valor and outstanding flying, Marty is rewarded with a delicious raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are good raspberries. <laughs> 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 Somebody. Well, you know, the nest is empty. And if it's empty, it means it's abandoned. <laughs> Leo, Tig, Mop is waiting. Yeah, we're coming. Just a second. Tig, let's just put it away now and come back later for more riding. All right. Push it this way. <sighs> you don't hurry. I'm going to leave without you. <sighs> Mila, wait for us. Okay, so today I'm going to tell you quite an amazing story. Hey ho! Hey ho! Hey ho! When the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves starts to storm and rage, we will scare it off with shouts. Mama, who's that flying over there? The crows? <laughs> You're a crow, Mila. <laughs> they are eagles. Easy, easy, children. <laughs> Don't fight. Those are storks. They are coming back to their nests after the winter. Hey ho! Hey ho! Hey ho! We're going home, my friend. <laughs> it's so wonderful to see an old friend when you come back home. And who is that? Children, I want you to meet Theodore. An old friend of mine, a stork. Mr. Theodore, was it a difficult journey? Well, as they say in the far land of China, the journey to your family nest begins with a single wing stroke. You know what, children? I'm going to tell you the story of the stork. Go, oh, wow. I'd be happy to hear that too. All right then. Once upon a time, there lived a stork. Was he all alone? Yes, all alone. All by his lonesome in his giant nest. But then the stork decided to find himself a girlfriend. One day, high in the sky, right under the clouds, he saw a beautiful lady. Only it turned out 
that this beautiful lady is the daughter of the strongest wind who didn't want to share her with anyone. The wind came down ooh, and pulled the stork's nest apart. But the stork wasn't about to give up. He built a new nest, much stronger than the previous one. And that's when the wind realized that the stork is a worthy fiancé for his daughter, persistent and courageous. Ever since that time, storks come back to their nests every year, and the families they build last for their entire lives. Mr. Theodore, do you also have a girlfriend? Well, a stork with a nest has everything. You know what? Come visit me. It's close on the top of that hill. Tig, I have a bad feeling that the nest we found might have an owner after all. Really? And who is he? The nest is gone. What, what do you mean, gone? Completely gone! Maybe the wind blew it away. No wind could do that! It was the sturdiest nest in the entire taiga! Oh, no, no, no. My Theodora's gonna be here any minute. Oh, you haven't seen her angry. That's it, it's all over. Don't you worry, sir. We'll help you. Leo and I will find it in no time. Let's go, Tig. Leo, where's the nest? How should I know? It used to be here. Weird. It couldn't have just disappeared, could it? Stop, do you hear that? <laughs> That's so awesome! <laughs> Did you see the shorty fly out? <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Let's go! Let's push it up! Come on! Hurry up! Push! Push! <laughs> come on, let's go! Hey, you! Give us back our nest. Your nest? <laughs> hey, Martins, did you hear that? Oh, yeah. The spotty and the stripey make nests now. <laughs> I can't even believe it. It's not yours or ours, but the nest does have an owner. Get it back. <laughs> right, first catch us if you can. <laughs> We're asking nicely. Give it back. <laughs> <laughs> Tig, we're in so much trouble. Oh, no, no, no. Is this all that's left of my nest? No, no, no. Children, you should be ashamed. We didn't throw it down from the tree. They did. That's right. They did. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. Mappa, we were just playing hide and seek and then it fell down. I didn't mean to. And then we just thought that it had no owner. We are very sorry. Yeah. We're very sorry. Please forgive us. Wise men would say that there can only be a wrong path, but never a hopeless situation. But this is the end. Ah, oh, children, children. Mappa Pendiga, we're gonna fix everything. Oh, listen, guys. I've got an idea. Is this one nest material? For the roof? Sure. And these? Just perfect. Put them there. Okay. Right. Spike, let the spotty and the stripey do the work. That's right. What are we here for? Stop asking and start collecting. All right. A little more. Okay, and one more. Good. Mila, you need to stop. It's already pretty. Tig, call him. Okay. Ooh. It's done. Come and have a look. <laughs> the 
creeks bring more light, and following spring, I also came back. It's such a surprise. Hmm. <laughs> well then, wanna race? The first one to that bush wins! Come on! Going on the count of three. One, two, three! three. <laughs> hey, wait! That's not fair! <laughs> Tim! Try to keep up! I am keeping up. I just... I wanted to breathe some fresh air. I've heard it's good for your health. Whew. In that case, can you breathe a bit faster? We're running late for Mappa. <sighs> hi there, Mila. Oh, hi, guys. Perfect timing. I had a nut roll under these roots. Can you help me get it out? Pretty please? Mila, have you seen the size of my paws? Look! They're huge. They won't fit in there. Mila, sorry, but Mappa is waiting for us. We'll definitely help you, but later! <sighs> the story of a hero. So today, children, I'm going to tell you the story... <laughs> about the Nightingale's song. But Mappa Pandiga, Nightingale's again? Can you tell us something heroic? That's right, like about battles and stuff. <laughs> heroic, <laughs> about battles and stuff. Okay, I've got something for you. It took place a long time ago. Back then, all animals in the forest lived peacefully together. No one hurt anyone. But then, something bad happened. From a faraway land, a great pack of wolves came to the taiga. The wolves were vicious and bloodthirsty and pestered the lives of the forest residents. The animals lost their peace. They got together for a council to decide who was going to defend their home forest. But no one dared to challenge the fierce wolves. Only one animal, the strongest, fastest, and bravest of all, stood up to the wolves. The battle continued throughout the night. It was tough on our hero, but he never backed down and chased the wolves out of the forest. Woohoo! He really showed them wolves. Huh. Oh, Mappa Pantiga! So who was that hero? A leopard, right? Why would you think it's a leopard? It was a tiger for sure. Some say it was a leopard. Some talk about a tiger. It was a long time ago. Well, children, go now, and I'm... gonna have a nap. <laughs> Tig, let's play the hero game. Okay, Tig, I'll be the hero and you'll be the wolf. Go ahead, try to howl. <clears throat> howl! No, that's not working. It doesn't sound like a wolf. It sounds like a chipmunk. You are the chipmunk. Chipmunk. <gasps> Tig, try to howl in here. Awesome, Tig! You're totally a wolf now! Leo, hold on, how come I have to be the wolf? I want to be the hero! Oh no, the hero was a leopard! But Mappa said that... Mappa just didn't want to get you upset. Maybe he didn't want you to get upset. Everyone knows that the hero was a tiger. 
Because tigers are stronger than leopards. Stronger? Whatever. The leopard is agile. No, I disagree. I play the hero or not at all. Tig, let's make a deal. Whoever's the first to the top gets to be the hero. Okay, you got a deal. Hey, that's not fair! Well, don't be so slow then. <laughs> <laughs> Try and catch up! <laughs> Wanna give up? Lil! Try to keep up! No! It's so deep! Come on! Get out of there! Wait here, I'll be right back. I need to show Tig who the real hero is, and then I'll come back. Mila, have you seen Leo? Yeah, he ran that way. Tig, will you help me? This is a bad time, Mila. I need to beat Leo first, then I'll come back. Stay where you are, don't go anywhere. How could I go anywhere? <laughs> Look at that! A weasel! Poor thing got trapped! Shall we help her? Uh-huh! Yeah! And also have a lunch! <laughs> <laughs> well, who's the hero now? Huh? Well, hero, wanna give up? Heroes never give up! <laughs> Should go first. <laughs> That's Mila. Something happened. Let's go. Ah! Here, take that. Shoot! How do you like that? Stop that right now. How about this? Ah! Ah! This is not going to help you anyway. That's fine. You are about to run out of those pine cones. Yeah, no more pine cones. <laughs> Leave me alone right now, or I'll. Oh, more food. Come over here, my delicious. <laughs> Who did you call food, huh? Leo, let's show them. <laughs> Grab him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's just throw them out of here. <laughs> we already have less spicy food. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Get away from me. Don't. <laughs> Boss, what was that? Wolves? Nonsense! What wolves are you talking about? Angry and hungry. <gasps> Boss, they're here! It's definitely wolves! 
All right, let's leave. It's better to stay out of their way. <laughs> you got lucky, Weasel. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This time. <laughs> Leo, you have to be very careful. Wolves are coming. It's okay, Mila. There are no wolves. It was all taking me. Ooh. Oh! <gasps> you sounded just like real wolves. <laughs> I even got a little bit scared. <laughs> And here's that nut. Thank you, guys. You know, you are my heroes. Tig, I've got an idea. Maybe the hero that chased away the wolves wasn't alone. Maybe there were two of them? Yeah, that's right. A tiger and a leopard. We can both be heroes. And Mila can be the wolf. Let's go play. Hey, <laughs> why me? I don't want to be the wolf. Wait, guys, come on. That's not fair. Leo, Tig. A gift from the spirit of the tiger. So sweet, so fresh. What a nice chubby boar. Came for lunch himself. Stop right there. <laughs> Now this way. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> very, very good job. Did you see it? Cuba spent like half an hour sniffing around and I'm like, bam, bam, and found it. I've got an awesome nose. <laughs> well done, Tig. So, Mama Pandigo, where did the sense of smell even come from? Oh, that's an ancient story, children. Once upon a time, animals didn't have any sense of smell at all. Oh, <gasps> that's incredible. Listen to the story. In those ancient times, animals were relying only on their eyes and ears. But one day, a harsh winter came to the taiga. The weather was freezing cold like never before, and a thick blanket of snow covered the earth. It became very hard for animals to find food, and they began starving, and it seemed like the winter would last forever. The spirit of the tiger felt sorry for its children, and so it gave them the sense of smell to find food even under the thickest layer of snow. <gasps> to every single one? Sure. And the keenest sense of smell was given to fierce predators, the wolves. That's why you need to be more careful. There are rumors that a red wolf came to our woods. Oh, dear me. That means no more woods for me. Mappa, let's go look for flowers. It's my turn now. <laughs> sure, Mila. Tig, where's Cuba? Cuba? Probably still looking around for his flower. <laughs> the spirit of Tyga didn't do a good job on his nose. <laughs> no, Tig. He's not in the bushes. What if he went to the woods? The red wolf is there. Nah, he must be around here. Tig, we have to find him. Cuba! Hello? Cuba! Where are you? Tig, 
stop screaming like that. We don't want the Red Wolf to hear us. Leo, how do we find him? By his tracks? Can you see them? No, Tig. We'll find Cuba by the smell, like you found flowers. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna pick up his trail at once. <laughs> Leo, listen. What does Cuba smell like? Seriously? Like acorns, of course. Here, smell this one. Well? Wait, don't distract me. I think... I think, uh... Ah. Uh, got it! Do you smell it? That's definitely Cuba's aroma. Let's find him! Apparently he went off the trail. But why would he go into the woods? Ugh. It's all because of you, Tig. If it weren't for you, Cuba wouldn't go anywhere. What did I do now? Weren't you making fun of him, Tig? Cuba! You've been searching for half an hour! <laughs> Maybe you forgot your nose at home. <laughs> oh, I know! You exchanged your nose for acorns! <laughs> I didn't know that he'd take it so personally. Tig, it's not okay to laugh at friends. Do you like it when Martins make fun of you? <laughs> For being afraid of heights so much? Okay, okay, I get it now. Stop! Where's the smell? It disappeared. <gasps> I don't like this at all, Leo. So who is he hiding from? Leo, I sense another smell. <gasps> Calm down, Tig. He's not even real. Cuba, come on. Go away, go away. Let's go. We have to save Cuba. Right, if he hasn't gotten eaten already. What a surprise. A kitten dessert. Leo, do you think this one's real? Ah! Ah, ah! He said we're dessert. Must have eaten Cuba already. Oh. And now he's gonna eat us. Ah! Quickly!
What's going on? Where did you two go? Uh, I don't understand. I was following the trail. All right. You've outsmarted me. But next time, you won't manage to run away from me. <laughs> it worked! He left! He couldn't smell us! <laughs> Tig, thanks to the monster, the mud covered our smell! <laughs> Cuba! Yeah! Our missing boy is back! <laughs> and we thought you were the Bob Land monster, not Cuba! <laughs> Listen, Cuba, you know, I'm sorry I was making fun of you. You might not have a sharp sense of smell, but I would never, ever think of hiding like that. <laughs> and this is Lily of the Valley, my favorite. Here, smell it. Amazing, right? Ew, Mappa, it smells like frogs. <laughs> You're right, that smells very weird. Very weird. It's because of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a muddy monster! I'm gonna save everyone! Tig, you're nothing like a monster. You're just a dirty little tiger cub. <laughs> yeah, one who smells like a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Little feet. And then the fox started chasing the little hare away. <laughs> Leo, check it out. The fox. Just like a real one. Oh, Mila, seriously. Tig, don't interrupt. Mila, go on. Come on, show us what happened next. But the little hare <laughs> didn't get scared of the fox. <laughs> Look at that hare. He didn't get scared. <laughs> what a big hero. Monster! Run! Run! Uh, hey, Mila, is this also part of your performance? No. Hurry! Hurry! Hey, careful! Oh, my Micah! Ah, you lot running! Not watching your step! Elsa! Thank you. So what happened exactly? Elsa! Elsa's coming! Oh, that's Bielsa! He is so enormous! He's a hero! He saved our little boy! Yay! What now? A hero? Hero! Where? Hero! He's hero! safe! So what now? I'm a hero? <laughs> you hear that, Leo? I'm apparently a hero! <laughs> sure you are, Tig! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Come to her. What is this? Oh, your wiseness! It's the first heroic deed! Oh, hero! You saved our beloved little boy! And that's why we like to invite you to a feast! In your honor! Feast in my honor? This is so awesome! I'm a hero! 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 Tig, hero! you can't be serious. Sure I'm serious. Just watch me. Come on, guys. Come to my feast tonight! Praise the hero! Hey, you need to be more careful carrying me. Don't let the hero fall, right? Oh, hero, take the courageous. Are you quite happy staying with us? Uh-huh. <sighs> it's a pity Leo can't see me right now. He would never believe this. <laughs> Is that my picture? Awesome! Now I have something to show Leo at the feast. Hey! Ooh, made it. That was a close one. Praise the hero! Oh, come on, it's nothing. Seriously. The second deed! The second deed! Oh, your royal highness! It's the second heroic deed! Come on! 
Telling the truth, you came back to us again. The legend? <laughs> what kind of legend? An ancient legend. It happened a long, long time ago. <gasps> Weak and small was the Lemming tribe, afraid of everything. Anyone could hurt us. But most of all, our tribe was afraid of the forest monster. Every year, the monster would come to our pantry and plunder it. The lemmings then started to pray. Oh, great spirit of Tiger, we are small and need your protection. The spirit of Tiger heard them and promised to send down a hero. But the lemmings didn't recognize him right away. Only after he performed three heroic deeds, they realized he was the hero. The lemmings lowered their heads before the hero and told him about their troubles. The hero then went out and made the forest monster go away. That's awesome. What happened then? And then the hero left. But he said that if the forest monster would ever start bullying the tribe again, he will come back and we will recognize him by three heroic deeds. And now he's here. Yeah? So is he. <laughs> it's you, oh great hero. Praise the hero! Praise and now when hero! you are here, you will Praise chase away the, the scary forest monster. Praise the hero! Heh, <laughs> not a problem. So who's your monster then? A uh, chipmunk or something? <laughs> chipmunk? <laughs> no, it's actually a little bigger. Actually, I'm talking about Beelza. Beelza? <laughs> Beelza. You know what? I'm... I'm not ready to be a hero. I'm not hero material, really. I think you should find someone else, okay? Lemmings, the hero has to perform a heroic deed! Hero! 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 Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! Praise the hero! Praise I don't want to be your hero. hero! Praise the hero! Hey, you! Let me out of here, you hear me? I need to go home now! Praise, Praise the, the hero! hero. I mean, I'll be back in the evening in time for heroism. Come over here. I saved your life. It's your turn to help me. Go find my friends. Please? Okay. <laughs> Cuba, catch! <laughs> you missed! <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Did you just say cage? Go back and start from the beginning. Hero! 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 Why did I decide to become a hero? I could be at home right now with Leo. Hero! 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 Lemmings! The time of heroism has come! Leo, my friend, where are you? Hero! Do you feel that you're ready to fight the forest monster? No. The hero's ready. <laughs> Good luck, hero. We believe in you. Some kind of 
of agreement? Okay, this is the end. Tig, don't be scared. I'm here. Leo, buddy, oh, you're here. You here to save me? Yes, Tig, I have a plan. Leo, are you trying to blind him? Is that your plan? Patience, Tig. The performance is only getting started. Leo, a monster! Oh, this is it! Goodbye, my friend. Scary monster. <laughs> Here's your scary monster, Tig. <laughs> wow, guys, that was something. What a great idea you came up with. Even Beelza got scared of you. It's you who deserve to be called heroes. Oh, greatest of heroes. Oh, no, we're not your heroes. We were simply saving Tig. He's our friend. And the thing we used to scare away Bielsa is Micah. Oh, in that case, in that case, let's have a feast to honor Micah. And friends! And friends! Ha, the Micah and Friends Day. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> oh, your wiseness. Leo, I did perform three heroic deeds. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh, Tig, you're hopeless. <laughs> Guys, watch this. I got this. I am going to hit it on the first try. <laughs> you missed. It's all, it's all because of the wind. <laughs> sure, the wind. <laughs> well, let me give that another shot. <laughs> Something always gets in Tig's way. A foundling. <laughs> Fellas! Huh? Look at what I found. It was there in the sand. Oh, an egg. I wonder who it belongs to. And, oh, I wonder who's going to pop out of it or, or what's going to pop out of it. For something to pop out of it, one of us will have to sit on it first. So, Tig, go ahead. <laughs> sit down. Why do I have to do it? Because you, my friend, are the most fluffy and the most pillowy. Curious. Do you think it could be a duck? <gasps> Maybe a stork. I heard that snakes also hatch from eggs. No! What in the? The snake bit me! Relax, will ya? It's just a little turtle. <gasps> Look how cute it is. <gasps> He's so precious. <laughs> Tig can't tell a baby turtle from a snake. <laughs> oh, come on, Leo. I was just kidding a bit. Scared you, didn't I? <gasps> Ooh, a meal! <gasps> Close. <laughs> <laughs> we'll meet again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, guys! Look over here! Our little turtle glued his fingers together. Maybe he's... a little weird? I got it. That must be why the other turtles ditched him. Oh, poor baby. We'll take really good care of you. Isn't that right, boys? Of course we will. Know what? I'm going to make a true tiger out of him. Why, a tiger, huh? He could become a great leopard. Ooh, I will call you a little baby T. <sighs> Remember, baby T, tiger is the tiger's king. <laughs> we got a king. Don't interrupt, Leo. T. Do you know why everyone is afraid of tigers? Because they are really, really super fierce. Roar! Make sense? Well, now you try. Come on, louder, like this. Roar! Enough, now it's my turn. Bear in mind, Baby T, that an ambush is the best way to overcome an enemy. We leopards are experts at this. <laughs> well, that's not quite like a leopard, <laughs> but it's a good start. And use that little precious angel in the bathtub, huh? <laughs> it's you, my little cutie patootie. Okay, Baby T, your mission right now is to catch this dragonfly. And we tigers call this thing hunting. Now go! <laughs> All right, Tig, I think it's my turn to train little T now. No way, because he's still not a real tiger yet. But he won't be because Baby T will grow up to become the bravest leopard. Tiger, leopard, guys, does it really even matter? He's just a baby. Oh, guys, guys, wh wh where is T? Yoo-hoo, little guy, hello. T, where are you? Baby T, come out, say something. We're here. Nope, we'll never find him like this. We gotta split up. Tig, you go left. And Mila, you go right. I'll go straight ahead. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Baby T! <laughs> Where are you? Oh, Mila. Where are you going in such a hurry? Mm. Oh, Mappa Pandiga. Hello, sir. We can't find our little baby T anywhere. Where's little T? What do you mean? Baby T. You know, the little turtle? He has these special sort of little feet, as if they're glued together. Nope. I haven't seen him. Also, what would a turtle with glued feet, as you say, be doing in the forest? Turtles live elsewhere. No way. But where? Well, let me tell you. A long while ago, all turtles used to live ashore. But one fateful day, spring came about and brought along high waters. One of the islands on the river became completely covered in water. Then the oldest and wisest turtle turned to the river and asked it to have pity on them and teach her children and grandchildren how to swim. The river was deeply moved by her plea and gave all turtles webbed feet. But they still lay their eggs ashore, so that before going into water, the little ones could get a chance to know where they came from, land, their first home. It is a memory they will cherish for the rest of their lives. And when a baby turtle comes into the world, it is guided to the water by the soul of that very wise turtle. So that means that tea is a water dweller. Yoo-hoo, T, where are you? Say something! Ugh, there's no sign of him. Guys, guys, listen up! It turns out that T 
He's a water dweller. What? A water dweller? If that's true, then that must mean he... Yes! He's at the river! <gasps> but guys, the vulture! <laughs> My lunch order's here! With an extra crispy tortilla shell! <laughs> oh! Hey, you! Back off our little baby tea! Could you say that again? Didn't catch that! Keep your filthy beak off baby tea! <laughs> I'm so honored to have guests for dinner! <gasps> It today. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> you sleepy heads. Yo, line up. Suck in that gut. And now, <laughs> some water aerobics? What? It's time for target practice. What? Target practice? Okay, there's an old stump in a clearing. Well, who will be the target? One, three, two. This will surely be you! <laughs> Why do I always have to do it? Quiet, you! Now get to the hollow! Where? To the hollow! Ready and aim! Fire! Whoa! Missed! All right, enough! Hey, what's with you? Can't you be a good sport? We're playing a game here! Well, it's a horrible game. Huh. <laughs> it's not horrible. It's like the best game ever. <clears throat> Do you want me to show you a real game? Playing Battleship. Hey, all hands on deck. Drop anchor. Aye, aye, Captain, set sail. Captain, I spy some reefs dead ahead. When you need something done. Whoa! 
Well, how about that? You see? Now that's what I call a real game. Ha! <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> On the other hand, if this was a pirate ship... A pirate ship? <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. But where would we get a pirate ship? Why don't we just build one? What? <laughs> Pirates don't build their ships. <laughs> they steal them. <laughs> All we've got to do is wait for the right moment. Guys, we're going to be late for Mappa's lesson. We better hurry up. <gasps> right. Let's get going. Spike, check it out. What? They're gone? <laughs> Are the borders ready? Borders away! Charge! Charge! <laughs> Hi, Mappa Pandiga! Oh, we're sorry we're late. The one who is late steals time from the one who waits. And time is something you can't get back. But today I wanted to talk about something else. I wanted to talk to you all about... friendship. Mm, can anyone break these twigs? <laughs> that is so easy. I mean, look how thin they all are. <laughs> <laughs> Tig, you can't break a single one. What sort of crazy weird magic is this? Weird magic? <laughs> uh, uh, why don't you give it another try? Well then, have you figured it out what the magic is? Of course, go on, Mila. When we are together, we are strong. That a girl, Mila. Pirates, cannon on board! <laughs> <laughs> Down with the enemy flag! <laughs> a pirate ship has to have a pirate flag! A pirate flag! Yeah. Spike, look how crooked and bent their swords are. <laughs> They're sabers, and it's Captain Spike. Y'all got that? It's Captain Spike. Uh, Captain Spike, uh, what are we going to do when Spatty and Striped come back? Yar, we'll cut them to pieces. Do you see how many cannons we have? Do you see how many sabers we have? Yes. <laughs> They're all bent. <laughs> I also have an idea. A brilliant pirate idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, there will be really thick jungle there? Yes, Mila. Nothing but thick, impassable jungle. And wild animals. And man-eating fish. And aggressive spiders! <laughs> Perhaps we should avoid this desert island. Really? How come? The only way to become a true sailor is on a desert island. But perhaps it's far away. What are we going to do while we're sailing to the island? Ideas? We will gather supplies. You, Mila, collect some nuts. Tig will collect mushrooms. I'll take berries. Okay, let's make it happen. Hey, Striped, getting ready for a distant cruise? That's none of your business. Well, I I'm just worried about you, because your crew is quite wonky. You are the wonky one. Ah, you should have heard what Leo called you. <laughs> he said, Tig's no good as a helmsman. Give him the ship, and he'll sink it just like that. And Mila said, Yes, I can steer myself. Let Teak run around like a good cabin boy for a bit. But from our point of view, it's pretty obvious who the real captain of the ship is. Really? And who is that? Ah, oh dear. Of course it's you, Striped. 
Only you have stripes on your fur, like a real sailor. Yep, he said just like this. How can he be a captain if he doesn't even have stripes on his fur? And Milo went, we must make Leo a cabin boy so he won't get a big fat head. <laughs> can you imagine? They also said that there's no place for girls on board. Can you believe it? What? What? Yeah, they said that. Can you imagine? Wh what? Yar, pirates! Come on, put her in the brig! <laughs> 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 Nobody's gonna help you. Yo ho ho! No, no one will save you, you now. now. Oh no, <laughs> so sad. <laughs> so, you have stripes on your fur. Believe it or not, yes, I do. So what? You'll never become a captain. A captain? <laughs> of you two? No, thank you. I will never step aboard your ship again. You can go play by yourselves, you and Mila. No way, you can have Mila. I don't want to see you again or else. Or else what? <laughs> hmm. <Help>! What's that? <gasps> it's Mila! Leo, Jake, help me! <laughs> hey, you! Let Mila go right now! No way! Your crew member is now ours! And the ship as well! <laughs> Yo ho ho! <laughs> Here we come! with this snow. Tig, it suits you. Spring is over, and it's still freezing. Uh-huh. I really miss all that sunshine, too. <laughs> and I miss the flowers. Come out, sunshine. Where did you go? <laughs> I'm sure it will come out just for you. There once was someone in the taiga who the sun listened to. <gasps> really? Tell us more, Mappa. Come along with me, kids. The Sun Folk. <laughs> Look at that! Awesome! Mappa, who are they? This is the Sun Folk. What kind of folk? Sun Folk. These animals lived in the taiga a long time ago. It is said that they descended from the sun itself. In cold times, when the sun used to stop giving warmth to the earth, 
They used to send the Chosen One, the strongest and fastest one in their tribe, to talk to the Forefather and ask him to turn up the heat. And the Sun listened to him. But Mama Pandiga, how did they talk to the Sun? It's so high up. There is a valley of geysers behind the Quick River and the Big Swamp. And in the valley lies the magical sunstone. They used it to communicate. Mappa, where are these sun folks right now? Nobody knows. Some say they left these parts a long time ago. But others believe that the sun folk is still among us. They just forgot about where they came from. There, look. To me, this chosen one looks like Leo, don't you think? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> he does. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, kids. Let's get going. It's getting chilly. Wee. <laughs> Leo, Leo, stop sitting around. Come play tag with us. Tig, I still can't get the Sun Folk story out of my head. <laughs> Try to think on the run. <laughs> it will warm you up a lot. Just listen for a sec. What if I, I mean, leopards are the Sun Folk? And I'm the Chosen One. You, the Chosen One? Why not? You said yourself that the one from the picture looks a lot like me. Well, he does. It means I have to go to the Valley of the Geysers and look for the Sunstone. Leo, it's very dangerous to go to the Valley. <laughs> Guys, come on, try to understand. If I am the Chosen One, I have to talk to the Sun. Otherwise, summer will never come. Whether you're the Chosen One or not, this much, I know. We're not going to let you go alone. Yeah, Tig is right. We'll go with you. <sighs> no way. I'm not gonna go in that water. Let me think. I'll come up with something. A raft? Wow, Cuba. You're a genius. Leo, what are you doing? Hop on the raft. You forget, Tig. I'm the chosen one. <laughs> I have to find the sunstone by myself. <laughs> Leo! Well, <laughs> don't worry, I got this, guys. <laughs> We finally made it to the big swamp. I'm sure that this whole swamp is already frozen or something. Whoa! Maybe not. Leo, where are you going? I'm jumping over it. Leo, that's crazy. Come with us. It is safer together. Don't be afraid, guys. I'm the chosen one. I totally got this. If this so-called sunstone does not exist, you're giving me a piggy ride back. Uh, 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 Leo, uh, you might want to be careful. Uh, it's okay. I can do this. I am the chosen one. It's okay when you use teamwork and avoid taking unnecessary risks. Are you coming? Yeah. You guys taking a nap? Let's go. <sighs> okay. Now Leo will crawl up to his hunk of rock, say hello to the sun, and then we can go home. Hey, guys, what about the geysers? What about the geyser schmeisers? They won't stop us. Papa didn't say that they were 
tried hard, but you see, there's no way to get through. Let's forget about the stone. Let's go home, okay? Uh, guys, you go. I'll catch up later. Chosen one. I got this. I can do this. I'm sorry, Leo, but it seems even the chosen one can't do it by himself. But together, we got this. Come on, push. <laughs> <laughs> Do it! Leo, do it quickly! Ask the sun for some warmth! No, we should do it together! One, two, three! Hello! Hello. Excuse, Excuse me, me, sun! More heat! Pretty, Pretty please. please! Be a pal, would you? you? Together, we just asked it nicely, and the sunshine came out. By the time we came back, everything already bloomed. Nicely done. It has indeed become much warmer. It was Leo's idea. <laughs> he suggested we go to the Sunstone. Thank you, friends. Without your help, I just couldn't have done it myself. Ah, kids. As they say, the one without friends is like a tree without roots. And always remember this. Two heads are better than one. Tiger Patrol. Know what I was thinking, Leo? Ah, <sighs> how our dear Tiger is so vast and beautiful. Right you are, Tig. I've been wondering. There must be other countries. Of course there are, kids. Mapa Pandiga, can you tell us something about other countries? Oh, that's very interesting. Just for an example, there's a place where it never ever snows. <laughs> yeah, right. Next thing you know, you'll be telling us that striped deer live there too. <laughs> Do they ever? But there aren't deer. The horses. Listen here now. That land is called Africa. It's full of wondrous animals. A giant with a leg instead of a nose. A toothy lizard the size of a huge log. 
A beast with a neck so long that it can eat the leaves off the top of a tree. And although they look different, they are similar to us. Just like us, they are friends with each other. And they too love their land. Sometimes they get into trouble. And so, I've heard that for times like that, they have a special team of heroes in Africa. They're called the Guardians. Should any animal need help, they come to the rescue. They are always ready to help. These Guardians are known around the world. Wow, it must be great to be a Guardian. I wish I were in that, what do you call it, Africa? I would love to be a guardian. Tig, we don't need Africa. Let's make a team of our own, right here, in the taiga. Wow, Leo, that's a really cool idea. Leo and Tig, guardians of the taiga. No, Tig, the guardians is taken. We have to call ourselves something else. Something for the taiga. Well, how about the taiga patrol? Ha! Awesome! The Tiger Patrol comes to the rescue! <laughs> I just can't! Spots and strikes down there! <laughs> the Tiger Patrol! <laughs> That's hilarious! <laughs> Enough! Just... just go away! No, 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 no! You'll fail anyways! You'll make fools of yourselves! <laughs> That's right, you'll fail! <laughs> Leo, so who are we gonna help first, huh? <laughs> Here you go, Mila. Oh, hi there, boys. Thank you so much. We're not boys, Mila. We're the Tiger Patrol, and you can let everyone know. Come on, Tig. Let's go see if someone else needs our help. Mr. Snake, except that we're, uh, not children. We are the Tiger Patrol. Look at them, huh? Soon everyone will be talking about these do-gooders. Let's just, let's just throw cones at them, huh? No way. I've got an even better idea. Come on, come on, laugh, good. Hello, Beaver Bro. Do you need any help? On your beaver river? Nah, huh? no need, thank you. We can manage just fine. Goodbye. All right, Tiger Patrol. If we're not needed here, let's just go. Yeah, the Tiger Patrol. Well, now that changes everything. You put that log over there for me, please. <laughs> just be careful. <laughs> hey. Sound the alarm! Yeah, we've got a leak! Oh, my dear! How unfortunate! <laughs> Get lost, you! Get out! You were playing not a patrol! Uh, so you're the Tiger Patrol? Sure! Who else? I am so glad that you're here. Some wasps built a nest on our tree. Now we're afraid to go back to our hollow. Help us, please. Ha! Piece of cake. We'll move it for you, no problem. Ah! Save yourself! Somebody help! Please! Ah! Oh! My mistake! <laughs> <laughs> Leo, isn't it great that we're the Tiger Patrol now? Nothing better than knowing the whole tiger respects you. Here, 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 and, and like that. Here. We'll help you, and we'll deliver it right to your burrow. <laughs> we are the Tiger Patrol. Ah! Ah! Help us! Ah! Help us! Ah! What's wrong? Ah! We just want to help you. Ah! The beavers and the squirrels. The wonders the. The patrol is nothing but, 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 but trouble! Ah, uh, help, help I'm us. confused. 
Did we even help those squirrels? Tig, I think I know who's behind this. Uh, Spike, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Setting a trap. Spots and stripes will be passing here soon. And I've got a surprise for them. <laughs> Spike! Spike! Quiet! <laughs> I really set them up, eh? Now the name Tiger Patrol makes everyone run scared. <laughs> I knew it. You're just up to your old tricks again. And you are going to pay for this, you imposters. <laughs> I bet you can't catch us. <laughs> We've got to lead them to the trap. Be Spotty Patrol. You're gonna be banished from the tiger for good. That's it. You're gonna get it for good. <laughs> <laughs> you got caught in your own trap. <laughs> hey, patrol, are you there? Please help us. Pretty please. Oh, please. No way. <laughs> Stay there and think about what you've done. Hey, you can't leave. Don't go. Please come back. Oh, Mappa, nice to see you. We are the Tiger Patrol. <laughs> Heroes. Can you tell us where we can go to help somebody? I don't know, kids. Ah, maybe the spirit of the tiger will tell. He knows this forest well. How can he tell? <laughs> he doesn't even talk. Of course he talks to you. With signs, you just need to learn to see them. Someone out there needs us. Thank you, Mappa Pandiga. Tiger Patrol, to the rescue. Patrol, please, any patrol. Just get us out of here. <sighs> Who needs help here? Oh, I can't see you. We're, We're here. here. Help, help us. us. Quiet down, will you? We won't be able to hear. If anyone needs help... They are the ones who need saving. Who do? The Martins? But they're the ones who built this trap to capture us. And now we're supposed to just save them? Yeah, we want to do good deeds. And they just hurt everybody. Leaving someone in trouble. Ah, that's not a good deed. No, that's not what heroes huh? should do. Spike, why did you get in the way of Leo and Tig? Because everyone's talking and talking about them. Yes, that they're so kind. Yeah, so nice. We want praise. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Leo, Tig, why don't you put Spike and his brothers on your patrol? Mm, well, I don't know. Please take us on, and we'll be sure to behave. We, we promise. promise. All right, fine. You can join. <laughs> but only so we can keep an eye on them. Well done, children. All righty then, Tiger Patrol. Let's do it! Good deeds can't just go and do themselves. <laughs> That's what the spirit of the tiger says. Well, of course. Sure will. And it will show you some of its snow magic. And we'll have the most amazing holiday! 
<laughs> yeah, right. Blizzard has better things to do than entertain us. Hey, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Very well. Let us just see who will be laughing tomorrow when we win the Christmas cup. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Winners. <laughs> As if they could win. We will roll you guys into the ice. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Children, you should be ashamed. Don't fight. All right, Martins. Let's go home. We need a nice sleep before tomorrow's victory. Tig, Spike is right. We also need to rest. What about Blizzard? Come on, you guys. We'll be okay. Christmas winners. I now declare the Christmas Tournament Open! <laughs> <laughs> Let the cup go to the most worthy! Show them how it's done. The beavers don't stand a chance. We're playing to five points. <laughs> we are very cool. Beavers always rule. Every kid knows what I mean. <laughs> Beavers go, go, go. Score a go, go, go. Done, guys. Hooray! And the team that makes the final is Leo and Tiggs. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all, Spotty. But you won't get so lucky when playing us. <laughs> First, you gotta win the game against the Lemmings. Right. See you in the finals. <laughs> See you later. Take this! Ugh. Miss me? <gasps> Miss me again! Ooh. Listen, why don't we go make our own snowman? That's right. That's right. When that blizzard will notice right away. Yeah, and then he'll show us snow magic. <laughs> <laughs> play rather well. Yeah, if you're a runner-up. Oh. <laughs> uh, 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 
Oh, what's going on? Calm down. Who is Bam? Maybe Bielsa. Tig, let's run and see what's going on there. We still got time. What did you do that for, kid? We wanted to make a snowman for Blizzard so that we could see snow magic. If the snowball falls down, we won't see Blizzard. Or have a holiday. Yeah, or have holiday magic either. <gasps> we could go up and carefully dismantle it. Leo, the Martins beat the Lemmings. Come on, if we don't show up, they'll count it as our defeat. But what about Blizzard? And what about the snow magic? Is holiday canceled? <sighs> All right, Leo. Let's, you know, save the holiday. Hooray! 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 Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's amazingly huge. Oh! was the strike of a true champion. Well done, Leo. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, children. You've saved the holiday. You know, I never thought I would say it, but I gotta say, you've played really awesome. Great job. Congratulations to you, Leo and Tig. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he being so nice? Mm -hmm. Okay now, let's have our celebration. Guiding Arrow. <laughs> okay, the first one to finish tying a knot can be the captain. It's going to be me, no doubt about it. I'm starting to think that there's something wrong with my rope. <laughs> Tig, you're not going to be the captain. Oh. 
Look, guys, it's easy. Just watch me. Put the site here, like that, and then look. Ta-da! <laughs> You're all done. Wow, that's awesome. Whoa, look at that. How did you learn to tie a knot? My dad told me, be strong and overcome an obstacle. <laughs> but be wise, you last the whole journey. <laughs> Don't even start. Hey, you guys, we made sure to only pack our essentials. Uh... Pass the ends to me. Hee! Okay, here we go. It won't take off. <sighs> yeah, we've got too much stuff on board. Only bring the things that you absolutely need. You mean like this? I'm not going anywhere without soap root. Or what do you think, that I'm going to allow myself to turn into a piglet? <laughs> oh, sorry, Kuba. I didn't mean it like that. It was just a figure of speech, I swear. <sighs> Better not touch Kuba right now. He's feeling down. Remember the pig, Lada? She moved to another forest with her brothers and sisters. Hey, guys! <laughs> what do we need that for, We huh? can give it to the monkeys when we arrive. A gift from the taiga spirit to their spirit. We can't be their guest and show up empty-handed. They're really going to love it. We'll take it with us. But... No buts allowed. There's only one rule on this ship. Everyone has to listen to the captain. And as it happens, the captain of the ship is me. <laughs> <laughs> It's Kino! 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 Hi! <laughs> Whoa! Look at that technique! Did you see how I taught you? Of course! You're amazing! <laughs> I can see that you're flying now, too! Yeah! We're all flying! We're traveling far away! That's great! The key is not to get lost! You do know how to fly back to your home, don't you? Uh, well, not really. How do you do it? I always know where I am. I don't look. I am an eagle. We birds all have a special sense of direction. Do you have something like that, too? Nope. We don't have anything like that. Stop! Stop the oars! We're not going anywhere until we know exactly how we're getting back again, or we'll end up lost like Lily. Hm, I know who can help you. Magnetic rivers. They're invisible, and yet they flow all around the planet, flowing from the north to the south. We bird folk are able to feel their currents. We don't have that sense of direction, so is there any way that we can see these flowing, invisible rivers? Hmm. Yes, there is a little trick. Our Earth is just like a great big ball. It is so enormous that we are all pulled toward it. That's called gravity. That's why none of us fall off of it. However, in the taiga, there is a secret spot that's hidden away where there's absolutely no gravity to be found. And that's because of the magical black stone. But reaching the stone won't be easy. No, but if someone manages to break off even the smallest little piece, they'll see that the magical black stone piece will always be pointing from north to south. No matter how you turn it or where you face it, if you do that, it will surely become the guiding arrow. Well, we've got to find that guiding arrow. Then we definitely won't get lost on our way home. Then let's go find that stone. Hey, guys, <gasps> can I go along with you? No, huh? it's much too dangerous. And anyway, the captain must never abandon the ship. But, 
No butts allowed. You see? And you wanted to be the captain. Sometimes it's not so much fun. You're right. We would have to stay on the ship. We would have missed out on all the adventuring. We've searched half the taiga, but we still haven't found anything yet. How are we supposed to find the secret spot? Oh, who's there? Oh, Phil, you really startled me, huh? I've been alive for a hundred years, and this is the first time I've ever startled anyone. A hundred years? Wow. Then maybe you know where we can find the... Hey, hey, hey! Oh, who's there? It's me again. Tig, can you help us out? We're trying to find the traveling stone. And you won't be able to find it. It will only appear when the stones become light. Oh, and when they... Oh. Tig, you hear that? She just said that when the stones become light and when they... But she didn't say when they what. Who's there? Please excuse me. When they what? When who does what? When will the traveling stone show itself? It will only show itself once somebody melts his heart of stone with the sweet sounds of harmony. Oh. Excuse me, Auntie Turtle. We won't bother you anymore, I promise. Just tell us where to go to find these weightless rocks. We really need your help. The midday shadow of a stone birch tree. Oh, knows where. The midday shadow of a stone? Wait, what? Of a birch stone tree. I know exactly where it grows. And it's noon already. We need to hurry. <sighs> Yeah. Tig, look, it's the birch stone tree. Follow me. Yeah. But where are the weightless rocks? Maybe there isn't any such thing as weightless rocks. Maybe it's all a fairy tale. I, I mean, how can stones even fly? Actually, they can. Look at this. Ha <laughs> ha! Hooray! We found it. We finally found the magic black stone. <laughs> now we just have to break off a piece. And I know how. Huh. <laughs> ha! See that? I'm riding a floating stone. Wow. But wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> hey. Um. It looks like we got ahead of ourselves. The magic black stone is pushing all the other rocks away from each other. We'll never be able to reach them. But the turtle told us somebody must melt his heart of stone with the sweet sounds of harmony. Remember when you threw a stone and it fell and... the magnetic arrow? We, we did! did. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. So now, you will always be able to find your way back home without ever getting lost. Thanks, Thanks so, so much, much, Grandpa Eagle. Eagle. Of course. <laughs> it's time for every one of you to all fly the nest, my little ones. Release the moon rings. Lower the rudder. Raise the wings. We'll steam ahead! Fly away, my nestlings! Let's do it! <laughs> Spread your wings, but never forget that. We love you, and we'll be waiting for you right here. I'm really gonna miss them, Grandpa. I'll hold on to the guiding arrow, okay, Leo? Why do you get it? Because I found it! And you're only the first mate. Why not me? I was there too. 
was supposed to solve the riddle. But I found a turtle, and she told us everything. Thanks to me, we found it. Hey, what about me?